Alright. Sunday market breakdown. Let's get this party started. <clears throat> so let's go over those these pairs. What am I looking for for next week? AUD USD. That's a gap here, so I'm thinking there's also a kind of a support here. So I'm thinking <coughs> price is gonna go up. There's also H4 divergence, but I'm not trading H4 divergences right now. So I need to wait. Maybe price will come back down here a bit and maybe make a hidden divergence, so regular divergence on each one here. So I'm looking to go long on AUDUSD if the opportunity occurs. Waiting for the price to fill in this gap and then drop down. Because on the higher time frames we are in a downwards channel, you could say. Pretty much. It's a downward channel, right? Price might even come, come um, as far as up here, maybe. Who knows? But yeah, this is this is what I'm looking for on AUD USD. Pretty much same thing on all AUD pairs, probably. Looking to go long if the opportunity occurs. So I'm not seeing any divergences right now, but price could make a pullback and then make a divergence. All in all, I'm pretty bullish on AUD pairs for the given moment, on the short term, let's say. Yeah. yeah. So, bullish on AUD pairs. <clears throat> The JPY has been moving sideways forever now. From 1990, from 1995. <laughs> okay, so maybe it's gonna tap into these highs. I'm pretty bullish on this pair as well. About making higher highs. Although it could be, could be making a short-term pullback here somewhere. So. Waiting to see what price does over here. So, yeah, what is on AD pairs? Can't see a chef, uh, he's in all time lows. So, who knows maybe when it's gonna make, may, when it's gonna come back. Currently, seems like a lot of wicks indicating. Still off to the downside. No divergence at the moment, but who knows? There's a little gap there, so might be come back to fill that up and then drop down. And JPY also a cell I took which might work out on Monday or at the beginning of next week. I know I'm pretty dark. I bought a, I bought a table lamp, so it should arrive next week. So. Hmm. Bearish on that JPY. Come on. Just 
way it didn't work out. But I don't see the emergence. There basically is. Oh yeah, there is here. Here, here. So there actually is divergence. Took out this. Took out the cell positions here, probably. Yeah. So mark marking this up. This might drop. This also might drop. Got a nice little buy from here. This would have gone to one to one to four point seventy two. So this would have been four hundred and seventy two two euros. If I would have paid with hundred dollars, hundred euros risk, like I usually do. But it was a good one. It was, it was a good one to one. I'm almost one month in on my challenge, so two months to go. Things are looking good right now. This also might drop, and this has this actually has a better divergence. Better divergence actually. Maybe something like this. CHF is a sorry JPY pairs look pretty bearish to me. Do, do, do. This might drop uh, even lower, maybe. Got a nice one to one from this. sideways at the moment I'm gonna wait for price to drop down here or come back up here or if it does another wick here and make a divergence over there maybe something like this then I'll look to enter your UD didn't give me a good divergence this would have been a nice trade maybe it will come back maybe it will come back because this I missed this trade over here. This would have been a nice trade. I actually didn't miss it, I saw it. And the price was over here, chose not to enter. FOMO. Or oh, sorry, not FOMO, not fear of missing out, but fear of losing. So, maybe it'll come back, even this gap, and then drop. I'll mark this up here. Nice little alert. Your CHF. CHF pairs are dropping at all time lows, pretty much. So, I'm gonna wait for price to come, come back up a bit. There's a nice potential for that for an divergence, so let's see. Your GBP is dropping. Moving pretty much sideways. There's a huge gap over here between this and this and this. So I don't see a reversal happening just yet. I mean, short term, yeah, maybe it will bounce here, somewhere up here, then drop. Who knows? Looking for that divergence to enter anyways. So this is a trade I'm actually looking forward to taking on Monday. Because the 
setup remains. It's still dropping. It didn't push past a lot, so we can turn to this one for sales. So, GU. GU <coughs> might be continuing its uptrend. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it can bounce from here. Who knows? Not anything clear for me. Lost this trade. Wasn't actually a good setup anyways. So I got punished on that. GP cat. <coughs> I mean, could be continuing its downtrend. I don't remember where they, where the channel came from, but it's in a down, it's in a downward channel, pretty much. So. This could be continuing down. Who knows? But don't have a divergence for this for this move, so I'm gonna stay out at the moment. Let's see what price does. GPCHF. He's moving now. It is at a daily resistance level, kind of, right? But without a divergence, I would enter, but there is divergence actually. There actually is divergence here. So this is pretty interesting, price is at a daily resistance level. You could call it a break, break and retest. Resistance, so sorry, support, broke down, came back to retest. So this is interesting. I'll be looking to see what price does here. Let's mark this up. GJ. Sim very similar setup to all the other JPY pairs. But no divergence each one so stay out of this one probably gbp aud gbp aud also daily resistance so we'll just have to wait and see what price does They are they are divergent, but no clear setup at the moment. Similar setup on GP NDD, but also not that clear. Nothing too clear. Well, it is actually better setup than GP NDD. Or oh, sorry, GP AUD. Divergence is pretty clear. So this could work. It's also at kind of a daily support. Sorry, it's resistance. But it's kind of weird. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm gonna mark this up. Kind of weird. But maybe it will work. Probably. Let's see. This is. I didn't take this trade. This trade happened. This divergence was clear on 30 minutes. I just wanted to see if it if it would work, and it did. So I marked this up. I have a list of uh, missed trades on uh, 
you know, trades that I missed that I, that I just didn't see or trades that had divergence on different time frames. So I have a list of those. When the challenge is over, I'm going to see how many trades I missed, what time frames did the divergence happen. So, so I would have a better picture if I'm going to, you know, just trade 30 minutes, sorry, H1 divergences or am I going to mix mixed divergences with H4 divergences or minute 30 divergences. I'm not going to go past minute 30 because that, that would go into the scalping territory for me, but <clears throat> yeah, so this trade didn't happen, didn't take this trade. Would have been a nice trade though, this is where I've gone to, nice, this is where I've gone to, one to two, easy. Nice. This would have been a nice one. Uh, there is divergence over here, though. But I'm not sure this is gonna play out. I would be more I would be more bullish on this pair, given the context. So, oh, sorry, it didn't happen. Oh, this was an H4. No, where was it? Oh, this one's 30 minutes. Okay, yeah, I don't trade 30 minutes. So, yeah, this is this is not a trade I'm gonna take. I'm more bullish on this pair at the moment. But who knows? There's divergence, hidden divergence, there's a small downtrend, left a gap here, so could spike down and then go up, who knows? Anything can happen in any moment before, that's one thing I've learned. This is stuck in a weird range. Also hidden divergence on the one minute, one minute, one hour. So also left a gap, so who knows? Maybe NZD players are fill in those gaps. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? NZD JPY. Nice divergence is happening here all across. So yeah, NZD J JPY players all have very similar setups. So. I might take my take few my two my take a few JPY pairs. But also one thing I've noticed is if you have too many good setups, it's usually a trap. Some some kind of trap. It's not it's like hey look, we're all going down and then a bunch of people take it, take it to their trades and then it spikes up. But I'm gonna mark this up anyway. Let's see what it does. This was a nice win. <clears throat> nice win. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait and see what price does. Maybe, maybe take the trade again. I mean, it's at a good place actually. Came halfway to the engulfing candle. Why not? Maybe I'll take the trade again. It's a good setup, still. Might come to fill in this gap over here. We are in a heavy downtrend. Okay, this is interesting. Yeah. I'm gonna mark this up, see if price goes down. USDCHF, same story probably, actually. A huge week down here that it didn't tap into. So I'm predicting, I'm guessing, price is gonna go down. H4 divergence as well. All right, all right. Might even take this trade again. Should have stayed in, probably. 
But I didn't want to end the last week in a, in a loss, so I didn't. I got out of it. But this is interesting. Maybe price will come to half halfway to this somewhere here. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye on this pair as well. A lot of good setups might have might happen next week. And last but not least, here is the JPY. Also looking interesting. There's a few touch points that price might go back to visit. Uh, but I don't have a I don't have a divergence at the moment. But so I'm not gonna take any trades on use the JPY. But still, could be a good pair to keep an eye on. Especially since USD guys and USD CHF are going down, so they might take USD JPY with them. So that's it for the analysis. Uh, got a lot of good setups to keep an eye on. So could be an interesting next week. See you in the next video, guys. Bye. Bye. Trade safe.